Hey guys, Pete with Mixcat. I know times are kind of tough right now and not everyone can afford a higher end router. Just wanted to give you a couple alternatives to going out there and plopping down, you know, a couple hundred or a couple thousand dollars on a router. Um, you can pick yourself up a really nice uh, Linksys on Amazon, anywhere between $50 to $100. Um, I would recommend Nighthawk. Those Nighthawks, the Wi-Fi is really, really strong. On the cheaper routers, usually that's not the case. The Wi-Fi is kind of not so powerful. Nighthawk really has great punch to it. The security is pretty decent. But you can also pick up a really cheap Linksys router, Netgear router, and flash it with a firmware. Uh, firmware is called DDWRT. I'll put a link on the, the bottom of this video. The DDWRT website actually has a database on there where you can look up to see if your router is supported. And it'll take it from a cheap router to more of a commercial robust router with features that will rival a, a thousand, two thousand dollar Cisco router. So without breaking the bank, you can really get something nice. Uh, alternative to that would be if you have a computer kicking around um, that you don't use anymore, you could load it up with PFSense. PFSense is, I believe it's built on Linux. It is fantastic. It's an operating system that's super, super light, and it's got built-in router with features for days, honestly. I've set them up for schools. I've set them up for hotels. You can set up commercial Wi-Fi with a landing page where people actually have to uh, log into your the Wi-Fi. Super robust, lots and lots of features, and it, it's got a lot more horsepower to it because it's running on a PC, where a regular router has a super energy efficient little processor on it, and if you're running a lot of streaming and gaming and have a lot of PCs, it really um, beats up these routers. So a full-on PC has no problem keeping up with that. I have a school I did an installation that had a pretty decent uh, Linksys in there, and it used to lock up in the peak of the day. Um, utilization would go to 100%. So I dropped in a PFSense uh, server. You just need two network cards, one for the, the LAN, one for the WAN. And it was an i5 with eight gigs of RAM, a little SSD. Utilization never goes above 2% on that bad boy. So it's, it's fantastic. Ever since I put it out there, they don't have any more um, routing issues. It's great, and for the price, you can't beat it. They do have some paid products, but uh, PFSense, great way to go. I know there's a lot of open source uh, projects out there, but check that out, it might help you guys out. If you have any questions on networking, uh, anything computer related, reach out. Paint for Mixed Cat Computers. You guys take care.